They discover the untold story of the Lady of Heaven. Fascinating thing, they're showing this conflict. Hey, I'm James Burnham. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is where I do my segment and react to videos on YouTube that people or other things on media that I've never seen before. And you guys asked, watch the Lady of Heaven trailer and react to it. I don't know what this is. One of you, you know, you asked for it, so here it is. Hope you like it. I hope I like it. I have no idea what I'm about to see. The world is in shock as a group of terrorists has taken control of large areas of Syria and Iraq. The world can be a cruel and dangerous place. Remember, even if you're afraid, be strong. Uh, they're just showing, uh, like it's like a trailer for a movie and they're showing some real terrorist kind of uh, attacks going on in Syria and uh, there's a woman talking about you know talking to a little boy who seems to be um, being attacked by somebody that's what we're seeing your loving mother Fatima did your mother ever tell you the story of the lady of heaven she was very special daughter to the prophet Muhammad my time is near, and afterwards, my lovely Fatima, you will face many trials. With my father no longer here to lead us. So this is a story of Muhammad's daughter. That's an interesting take. I never thought of that. So it'd be interesting if <laughs> I'm actually curious, right? Because um, Middle Eastern culture with the way they with the way they worship um, Islam is very different than say in Indonesia. Indonesia has had female presidents. They're ahead of the U.S. when it comes to equal rights for women. I would say, because women can do and move in places and there that they can't here, and that has so it has nothing to do with Christianity. The um, the disparity of power between men and women in the Middle East is a cultural thing. It is not a religious thing. However. The culture of the Middle East has used their religion to enforce behaviors that they call religious from Islam that in fact are not duplicated in other areas of the world. So this is interesting because this is a story about the Middle East and we're talking about Muhammad's daughter. I think that's interesting. Well, what an interesting take. Evil is with those who will extinguish the light of truth. You're gonna let a woman tell us what to do. We will burn her out. God will judge all of you. This world has become a breeding ground of violence. The shadow will be cast across many generations to come. They discover the untold story of the Lady of Heaven. And they're just showing... It's that some people are so full of faith. They give strength to everyone around them. The greatest thing in this life and the hereafter is the spreading of peace in the world. So they're showing all of these men going to war in a battle and here's this woman Fatima who is apparently the daughter of Muhammad saying hey this violence is going to destroy us and leave a shadow on the world after and what we need is peace and uh, and so you see this discrepancy between you know it's the religious belief you have people believing it and using it to be violent and you have people believing it and using it to find peace and I will tell you I have many friends who um, are worshipers of Islam. Um, they're Muslims. And I don't know any of them that are crazy jihadists. They're really, really nice people and very peaceful, very open and kind in the way that they practice. So it's kind of nice to see a version of a movie that attacks really the American psyche, the trope that America has created around the religion of Islam, which is quite negative here. 
right? We have a lot of negativity. We look at the attacks on the two towers. That's a, that's a huge psychological toll on this nation where we feel we were attacked by a, a religious group. And we were. However, that religious group is not representative of the whole religion. It's like saying that the white supremacists are a representative of all Christians. They're not. They're not. Those guys do their own thing. And so are these jihadists. And, and I think that's what this movie maybe is highlighting is the fact that there is a whole nother current, another side to this religion that is beautiful and peaceful and kind. And they're representing it through Muhammad's daughter, which is kind of cool. Lady Fatima's goodness inspired people to stand up, no matter what the cost. Her legacy lives on. Anyway, it's a fascinating thing. They're showing this conflict of peace and fighting anger, hatred, and it's all within one religious space. That's a fascinating thing. I don't think that we've uh, really ever addressed that within our own Christian beliefs. Like, we're a Christian nation. I know that not everybody is, but it was founded by, you know, the people that came at Plymouth Rock were coming up on Thanksgiving, right? They were coming so they could worship Christian beliefs the way they wanted to worship. And they found this place and it was built on that premise. And now within this nation, there are multiple versions of Christianity, just as there were in England, right? And they had, and these people were killing each other because they wanted their version to be right, using that as violence. And we have obviously the same issue with Islam. This is not a issue with religion. It's an issue with us <laughs> and not being open and willing to meet things with peace. I am always amazed by those people in our world, those leaders that find a way to approach difficult, potentially violent, or even violent protest situations with peace and kindness and openness. I don't know if that's what this movie is about entirely. It's a highlight, but I'm definitely curious. I actually want to go see the movie now. <laughs> Hopefully you'll like it too. It's, it probably is out because this is a um, highlight or a trailer from a year ago. Why do they call previews of movies trailers? I have never understood that. I call them runners because they're ahead of the movie, but we call them trailers. Yeah. Anyway, that's, um, that's my take on The Lady of Heaven. Thanks for the suggestion. If you have more, let me know. Uh, the next video coming up is I React to Hustle, Netflix movie with Adam Sandler. It's great. You got to check it out. And uh, like, subscribe, comment. I'd love to hear what you have to say. I'm James Burnham. Thanks for joining me.